Hi guys, so recently I made a video on how to pack a suitcase taking a minimalistic philosophy and you guys really loved the video, it did really well and the feedback was great but I had a lot of people saying they would have liked to have seen what I was inside my suitcase, what I actually packed and why. Now recently I just had an attempted, a, attempted trip to London for five days. Unfortunately the, there was a bit of a disaster, the plane got stuck in Dubai and unfortunately I had to return home. Now I'm just over my jet lag and I'm getting around to unpacking my suitcase so I thought this would be a great opportunity to share and show you what I packed and why. So the first thing that I did was I looked at my itinerary. I knew what days I was meeting with people, what days I was filming, what days I dedicated for things like catching up with girlfriends, going and seeing a show or just maybe doing a little bit of shopping. I then actually pre-organized my outfit. So I knew exactly from Monday I'd be wearing these jeans with that jacket, that top and those shoes. And for seeing a show in that evening, I was going to be wearing that dress with those stockings and those shoes. Now that made me feel really calm knowing that I actually packed everything that I needed. I wasn't doubling up on anything and I wasn't missing any key accessories or items of the clothing that would leave me stuck. The third thing that I did was I stuck to a color palette. I didn't throw in any rogue random colors in there. Everything that I put in my suitcase matched. So if I decided to change my outfits for each day, it didn't really matter too much because most of the tops went with the bottoms, that went with the shoes, that went with the jacket, that went with the handbag. So I knew I was pretty safe from that perspective. The fourth thing was I packed comfortable clothing, but clothing that was very versatile. Items that I could dress up and dress down. And I'm gonna show you exactly what I mean. So for example, I took this handbag with me, which is one of my favorite handbags. It's the Gucci Disco um, Soho, and I'll make sure I put a link on the description box of where you can actually get this, because it's probably one of my most handy pieces. Now, the reason why I'm talking about versatility, because of this gold chain, it meant that I really dressed an outfit up if I was going out to a meeting, but also it was very practical in that it's a crossover body, so it means hands-free, which makes, you know, you can still walk around with your phone in your hand or a water bottle, or if I'm filming, it just made life so much easier and quicker to move and over around. Second handbag that I took was actually my Givenchy Nightingale handbag. Again, this is a really classic handbag. I knew that I was gonna be able to wear this at nighttime with my um, leather jacket, because it's got a little bit of the um, silver hardware, it kind of dresses it up and gives that little chic touch. And also being having this additional strap here for during the daytime, it meant that I could, again, just put it over my shoulder, have two hands free and not have to worry about like having things over one arm or holding things like this, which can be a bit awkward when you're jumping off and on tubes and in and out of taxis. But these are two great handbags that often do travel with me when I go interstate or internationally. And I really do love them. On that topic of versatility and comfort, I want to share with you the shoes that I packed. Now I actually packed four pairs of shoes and for a five day trip this did seem excessive but this is a good trick that I want to share with you. Now I packed ballet flats, one pair in a classic black and the other pair in a classic beige. Again it went with, with all different shades that I packed within my colour palette so I knew it would be great. The thing with ballet flats is they are still incredibly feminine and pretty and make an outfit look quite smart and put together but they're also incredibly comfortable for walking around if you're on your feet all day and you can also walk quite fast in them or even run in them. Um, I would love to say I packed this amazing pair of high heels that I strutted around London in but I'm an unco when it comes to walking in heels so I know that I'm safe with ballet flats. Now both these pairs are actually Chanel. I have bought in the past a whole range of different types of ballet flats in from cheap ones to budget friendly ones to mid-range to expensive ones and these have always stand at the test of time they're both quite old um, I've had them resold a few times but they are so comfortable and they are my go-to now I don't always buy them brand new because they are incredibly expensive I will list in the description box below where I buy them because you can actually pick them up for a bargain these I think would normally retail for just under $900 and I think I paid 300 for these so for me, investing in ballet flats is worthwhile. Now, I want to show you two other pairs. These were going to be my shopping 
shoes. They are so comfortable. These are the Lacoste Zyan chunky shoes and I'll put the link in the description box below. I love these. These are also my like dog walking, park walking, Rocco walking shoes. So comfortable. Um, because they've only got a little tie here, you can still slip them on and slip them off um, like a ballet flat, but they're really cute and pretty and fun. And again, incredibly comfortable and look fantastic with shorts and jeans. Um, really great to have. So that was this, the third pair of shoes that I packed. and. Because I was planning on seeing a show and catching up for dinner with girlfriends um, and drinks, I packed one pair of heels. And again, I checked the weather to know when I was putting together these outfits so I knew what to pack. And in here, somewhere, here are my heels. Okay, I found one. Um, a nice pair of beautiful boots and these are actually really budget friendly and I'll put the description, the link of the, what these are because they were a recent purchase and I love them. Um, but these were great because I could wear them with thick black opaque stockings for when I was going out at night, um, tight black jeans, um, normal jeans. They're a great versatile piece that I knew would work and even if I was going to buy something for myself in London, I knew that these were a safe bet to pack. And final principle that I followed in packing smartly for London was I packed items that were iron free friendly. So I am useless at ironing. I'm actually looking at investing in a really good iron, but just trying to work out what is the best iron. Anyway, because obviously things in suitcases get squished and squashed and crumpled, and I, it does make really impact the way that you look when your oil clothes are creased, I packed easy things. So for example, I packed this jumper, which is one of my favorite brands, um, Scanlon Theodore. And this doesn't crumple at all and it's incredibly um, chic because it goes across the shoulders and wraps around. It's beautiful, it's a great colour. It sticks to my colour palette, like for example. Um, I also, another great thing, item of clothing to pack, or fabric I should say, is lace. Again, another Scanlon um, piece. Um, this is lace, it doesn't crush. I didn't need to worry about having to get it dry cleaned or steamed or ironed whilst away. Pity I didn't get to wear this. Another great item, which was good for nighttime because it's still quite cold in London, was a sort of shrug, I don't know what you call this, I guess a little kind of jackety coat. Really nice and warm, very chic. I just throw it over my shoulders to keep me warm, but it still breathes. Um, great to wear with pants, over a dress, with stockings. Um, very cozy and also incredibly comfortable and warm. And iron free friendly. And leather jackets as well, really great because they don't need to be ironed or they don't get too crushed or creased while packing. I can, the sort of thing you can just put on a, on a coat hanger for a couple of hours and any creases that are there will drop. I need to put these away now. And of course a few synthetic items that you know would just need to be again put on a coat hanger and will drop naturally or worst case scenario when you have a hot shower hang them up on a coat hanger in the bathroom with you and normally the creases will just drop out naturally so packing iron free friendly items definitely saves a lot of space and stress and time whilst on holiday <laughs> anyway now that i'm back home i'm almost over my jet lag um, and i will be rebooking my trip to london again when i get the energy to do it all over again because it's a long flight from sydney australia I will let you guys know and you can rebook in to meet with me if that's what you would like. Now I better go and put away all these things that I didn't get to wear in London. In the meantime, I hope you enjoyed having a peek inside my suitcase. Ciao for now.